Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. What's going on, Faithfuls? It's your boy Mike from the Nothing But Niners crew. Here to bring you guys, again, some breaking news. Now, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. That way you guys get all the little alerts and everything here from when we do live impromptu videos. The 49ers have made another signing today, and this is not someone that you have probably ever heard of. His name is Colin Holba. He's a long snapper. The 49ers were forced into this signing after the news that their long snapper slash tight end, Kyle Nelson, has been suspended for the following or for the next 10 games. All right. Now, it's interesting because Kyle Nelson's contract is up at the end of this year and he will become an unrestricted free agent. So the Niners had to absolutely sign someone. And this guy, Colin Holba, is getting a shot of a lifetime. Now, the reason I say that is because it is absolutely possible and plausible that Holba, if performed, performs well, can be the 49ers long snapper for the foreseeable future. Uh, this team has been very, very consistent with Kyle Nelson. And uh, now that his contract is up, there's no obligation to bring him back, especially because there's only a handful of games left this year and the suspension will carry over into next season. If Colin Holba is done, doing well, there's probably not a big chance at Kyle Nelson returning to the 49ers. But let's talk about Colin Holba. Born July 8th, 1994. He's been a long snapper his entire career. All right. He played football at Louisville and he was drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers in the sixth round in the 2017 draft. He did not make the final roster. If my memory serves me correctly. He was cut early September. I think they said the second. Uh, let me see if I can find that here. Yep. <clears throat> he signed a four year deal worth $2.5 million. And then he was cut on September 2nd. He was waived after he lost a long snapper competition. All right. The Jaguars didn't waste any time. They picked him up a couple of months later, November 14th, the same season. And then he went on about his business until today when the 49ers decided to sign him. All right. So he will be with us for the remainder of the season. Now, guys, I don't have a lot of intricate details about this guy. I won't pretend to know a ton about him or anything like that. I do know that they said that he was one of the first guys to be drafted from his college. I don't know how true that is. All right. But well, maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe they meant his high school. Maybe that's what they meant. Because I feel like Louisville has had some other guys drafted before. Right. All right. So I want to talk. All right. Why does a long snapper need steroids? All right, so that's a great question. I want to talk about that. A lot of times these guys take a, a lot of supplements, okay? If you ever go like behind the scenes with any of these 40, the football players, you'll see them in supplement stores just grabbing things by the can and dropping them in their bags, right? And the NFL makes it pretty easy for these guys to tell what's legal and what's not. They have this whole long supplement ban list and things like that. It's up to these gentlemen to go and check what they're picking up and ingesting. No one's going to do it for them, okay? Um, the NFL makes it pretty simple. All the information is there. You can type in a brand name, and it'll tell you if what that brand makes that's on the ban list, all right? Now, I do know that sometimes these guys take supplements that they don't prepare themselves. Some guys have special trainers and all. The trainers are doing that. Then it falls on the responsibility of the players still, but they're going to try to say, oh, my trainer gave it to me. I don't know what Nelson's excuse is going to be, but... Uh, <laughs> but... We're gonna uh, we're gonna see what happens. I'm, I'm sorry, man. Delta is writing very funny comments. Yeah, uh, Theo wrote ten games though. So yes, this is ten games because this is not his first defense. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Nelson was suspended for four games. I think two seasons ago. So we'll see what happens here. Um, I see a lot of sarcasm in here. Great pickup, future Pro Bowl and things like that. Uh, Elias is asking a good question. Is he good? Well, this is the thing. It's not often that a team in the NFL will draft a specialty player like this. A punter, kickers, long snappers, guys with very few contributions uh, that they can bring to a team don't often get drafted. All right. If you are a one trick pony, if you were just a kicker, you were just a kicker. If you were just a long snapper, you're just a long snapper. So it does say something that the Steelers drafted him not in the seventh round, but in the sixth round. OK, it does say something about his abilities or at least what they perceive to be his abilities. So that's a positive in his favor. Here's the negative. He lost that competition to an undrafted player. So I don't know if he's any good. It's an excellent question. I'm just not sure how good it is, all right? Um, yeah, so it is what it is. It's going to be what it is, guys. I mean, but here we are. 
We got a new player. We signed Colin, guys. Colin is playing for the 49ers, just not the Colin that a lot of you guys were hoping for. All right? So that's going to be it for this video. Five minutes. It was short and sweet. I want to let you guys know to make sure you check us out this week. We have a Behind Enemy Lines coming with the Broncos fangirl. She will be on with us this week, uh, probably tomorrow. What's today? Wednesday? We'll probably do it Friday. That way we don't interrupt anyone's uh, Thursday night football sessions, okay? So you guys look for that on Friday, Behind Enemy Lines with the Broncos fangirl. Her name is, oh, you guys are killing me with these comments. Her name is Ashley. So you guys will get a chance to meet her. We'll do some Behind Enemy Lines. And uh, also we have some podcasts coming for you this week. We're supposed to be doing um, the State of the Franchise. That is supposed to be going on tonight as well. So look for Dylan or Nick. I'm not sure which one is doing it anymore, but you guys look for them on this channel as well. It's important that you guys hit that little notification button so you always know when we're going live, all right? I'm going to get up out of here, guys. Prepare for glory, anticipate pain, but always remain faithful. I'm out.